What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to go over and do a full explanation of the new rune words and how they work coming to Diablo 4 Season 6 with the brand new expansion. So if you guys haven't seen already from the dev stream, myself and a lot of other creators, we've put out a, just an overview of everything that's coming, briefly explaining rune words, but there's been a lot of questions in my community, I'm sure with a lot of other people on how these work in comparison to like the traditional runes that were from Diablo 2 because they are completely different. And I, I briefly went over them in my like overview video yesterday, but I wanted to bring down and just kind of narrow the focus and break down exactly how these work. So that way there's no confusion or at least maybe not confusion, but people will understand how these work better. So let's get into it. What are rune words? Rune words are a new source of power. These are going to be things that you can combine to give your character or your class even more power and other abilities from other classes so there's two different types of runes that are in here and that is the rune of ritual which is going to be kind of like your trigger um rune so you need to you know reach certain parameters which is the travel five meters and then there's your you know your power rune or your evocation rune which is the power that you're going to receive from meeting the condition so this one is once you have the power you will replace your next evade with the sorcerer's teleport blinking further dealing damage and becoming unstoppable which is one of the best powers from diablo 2 everybody had it it was fantastic right so those are your two different runes and there's going to be a bunch of different ones that you're going to be able to combine now what they've added that is different from diablo 2 for sure is the offerings that you see here so you have these offerings where this is your trigger or your rune of ritual. So you need to gain 50 offering. And by and how you do that is the condition, which is traveling five meters. So every five meters you travel, you will get 50 offering. Okay, very important. Now on your evocation rune or your power rune, it requires 500 offering to activate. And it's a cool, a cool down of two seconds. And then that's how you get teleport. Okay. So you gain it by you putting in your ritual, you'd meet the condition. And then once the condition is met, you will get the power, right? So it's, it's, it's very like simple when you think about it like that. However, let me go over to the Diablo stream. Let me pull up a quick video. So that way you guys can see it like blown up and see how it works. So right here, you got the, the dev stream from yesterday and you can see that it has the box where you travel five meters and you get 50 offering. And then they have the other ritual or the uh, evocation rune, which is the uh, this one is tech, which is invoking the barbarians earthquake dealing damage to enemies within. So what's really great about this is something that they've added. You can see that there's already a rune word here paired. So each class can only have two rune words paired and you can equip them in an item slot that has two sockets, which is why they added two sockets to the helmet you already got two of the chest two in the pants and i'm assuming you can put them in at least one of your two handers or in the barbarian's case you could put them in two of the two handers you could do that which is perfectly fine but what i think is really great is they've added this little this little icon here you see this icon it'll keep track of when you're gaining your offering it'll fill up and then you'll see it activate so as the video is playing and he's doing damage, you see how this activates here. It's this one. So it filled up and activated. So now you're able to do the actual power. See how it keeps filling up the traveling five meters. It fills up again. So that way you can kind of see it and it'll just automatically happen, which I think is fantastic. So you see the runes, you see the differences and what kinds that they have, or excuse me, the, the, the two different ones, the offerings and the conditions that you have to meet and then seeing like everything that, how it's going to power up and you can keep track of it. But now let's talk about a few of the runes that have really like caught my eye. There's a few here that I've seen like Rob talk about Rax talk about and a lot of other creators. And when I first watched the dev stream and then looked at the notes, like obviously the, one of the best runes for sure is going to be the jaw rune, which is giving every class teleport. Cause like what's cooler than having like a barbarian teleport and smash everything or a necromancer teleport with all its minions. Like there's nothing cooler than that in the game, right? Cause teleports the best movement skill in the game. So but there's some other ones here that are incredibly powerful. So there is 17 total ritual runes and then 28 evocation runes available. Okay. So 
in total, there's the 45 runes in total, and they can, can be can be combined in any way possible. So once we get into the PTR next week, we're going to be able to test these and really just kind of narrow down some of the best ones and combinations. But when you're looking through these, there's a few that really stand out. Like y'all obviously is super easy to do, which gaining 50, 50 offering from casting a skill on cooldown is very easy to get. There's a lot of different classes that have a ton of cooldown. So getting this and then, you know, going up to 500 should be fairly easy. Of course, the, uh, the Bach rune, which traveling five meters gets 50 offering Five meters is not very far in this game. It is very quick to just like rack those offerings up. And one thing to keep in mind here, if I haven't mentioned it already, is that there's overflow. So for example, this costs 500 offering. Like if you're gaining so much offering to where you would have over 500, you're gonna deal more damage. So it's it's kind of cool to have an overflow so you can keep the conditions running or your runes running all the time. I think that's fantastic. Um, it's, it's kind of cool just to, to see that because there's going to be some really cool ways we're going to be able to, you know, mix and match these runes to really take advantage of that overflow. But we'll have to test that in the PTR next week. So Yol obviously is huge. Um, now the, the Sir one is pretty good. Uh, cast the same non scan, uh, channel skill three times in a row. That one's not bad. Right. Um, there's some other ones that are really, really good here. Like, um, Tam casting a non channeled core skill. Uh, this is very good for 50 or 25 offering. Like pretty much every build that you're playing for the most part is spamming core skills, unless you're doing like lightning spear this season. But this is very, very good. Um, Gain 150 from invoking a power from another class because you can have two different runes, rune words activated. This should be very easy to attain, very, very strong. Casting an ultimate skill for 150 offering with Xan is very good because now ultimate skills get an increase in uh, the amount of skill points that they can have, so which can reduce cooldowns, etc. So that makes that very, very appealing. Um, inflict crowd control. This is good, but it's very small, so it's not that great. Cast evade is very, very easy to do. So there's a lot of here. Obviously, you travel five meters with back is insane. Um, there's a lot of good ones here. Cast after a moving skill. Like some of these are very, very good. Um, now let's get into the evocation runes and some of them that are like the best. So right off the bat, this one right here, the Barbarians um, Enhanced War Cry for every other class. is. Pr this might be the best evocation rune in this list. Because even though it's 500 offering and it is a legendary rune, cooldown two seconds does not matter. You get Barbarian's Enhanced War Cry, which gives you increased movement speed and damage dealt. I think it's 15% move speed and 25% um, damage, or it's vice versa. It's absolutely insane. And because of how easy it's going to be with the cooldown and Enhanced War Cry lasts six seconds, I believe, or four seconds, you're going to be able to have this pretty much up all the time. I mean, I, I just don't see this not being in almost every build on the surface without having to test stuff. This one, Ohm, is absolutely insane. Um, super, super strong. You got Vex here, which is kind of like a mini Shaco. We're getting plus three to all skills instead of four, but it is very good. Kind of nice. Very, very good. Um, the Chris Chance is very good. Uh, can stack and, and gain multiple overflow stacks, so you can get this up to 25%. Increased critical strike chance, very nice for crit builds. Uh, let's see here. Um, the overpower, 700 is a lot, but guaranteed crit and overpower is pretty nice. This is gonna really going to help some overpower builds, um, even though a lot of them just don't seem that great. But one that comes to mind is definitely the um, Necromancer. It seems very, very good. Uh, the Druids Petrify is going to be a... A, like a sought after one i think this one's going to be very very strong stunning enemies and getting chris strike against everything is very good yom's going to be insane um let's see here this one i like qua for the increased uh, movement speed i think that one's very cool uh let's see here there's so many here that are like pretty good but i think the barbarians one is probably the best i mean it, it there's nothing else that really dominates that one otherwise a lot of these are just jaw is very good of course with the teleport a lot of these are pretty basic and generic stuff um but there's there's some good ones in here we're really gonna have to test but i think the few at the top like yom uh what is this vex val 
Uh, and then Ohm is probably the best. Lax is okay. So there, there's a lot of good ones here. I think the the initial ones, these rituals, are probably better than most of the uh, invocations. But um, there's some very strong ones. Ohm is probably going to be the most used one, I would think, on the surface. But we'll see once we can get in there and do those. But, yeah, guys, I wanted to make this video real quick and talk about the runes. Um, one last thing about runes is crafting. You're going to be able to craft these, and it's three runes to unlock um, the very next rune, and it's a random one, but it should be one that's a, a rune that you currently don't have. So you're going to be able to trade in three to one. So you trade in three, you're going to get a brand new rune. Hopefully it's one that you don't already have. Um, now, there's one big issue that I will say closing out this video is that because you can craft these, you can now spend one resplendent spark, 10 legendary runes, 10 rare runes, and 10 magic runes, and then you can craft a mythic. So this is going to make uh, the market in Diablo 4 even crazier because you get a resplendent spark from defeating Lilith, defeating your first um, uber boss, and then if they continue to give us the seasonal you know, quest thing, we'll get one from that. So that's three. So if you can get all these runes, essentially you can craft three different mythics without actually having to get four resplendent sparks. So that's going to be interesting and see how this shakes up the um, marketplace. Uh, but it is very interesting nonetheless. Some people are already saying that it's essentially trading mythic items because regular mythic items are traded. But if you can just get these runes, it's very easy to get sparks. So we'll have to see how that kind of works out in the first couple of weeks of the expansion. But yeah, guys, I wanted to break this down. I really hope that this video helps you guys um, just understand exactly how the runes, rune words work coming in the season and then some of the best ones that you guys can combine. So make sure to like the video, guys. Let's get this over 100 likes. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.